everyone, my name is Cindy, and our group have Jorge, Ali, Shaw, and Hannah. Now let's turn to Hannah to talk about the, the next part. Uh, hi everyone, uh, today we will talk about the blue whale. Uh, we choose the blue whale because there are many interesting facts about it. One of them is uh, the blue whale is the largest animal in the earth. Although it's the largest animal on the earth, it feeds on a tiny marine life like shrimp, but it's smaller than the shrimp. It's called crab. Now we will talk. Uh, Ali will talk about the crab. Uh, uh, hi everyone. Uh, after our presentation. For us, uh, we will introduce uh, a brief uh, identification uh, about uh, the blue whale. Uh, we will uh, show the blue whale uh, from a special uh, corner to you. Then, uh, unfortunately, we will uh, tell you about uh, the challenges and uh, the threats uh, that the blue whale is exposed to. After that, I will introduce uh, the best solution to conserve and uh, preserve uh, these nice uh, species from extinction. Uh, finally, we will conclude our presentation by uh, a nice and abbreviated conclusion. Now, uh, Jorge, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Um, we, today, we talk about some descriptions, the main description that we have from the whale, the blue whale. Well, the blue whale is shattered to consider an endangered of extinction animal. Um, the blue whale has a population about 10,000 to 25,000 individuals of that. And we almost have a, um, have a class of that that are mammals. We, we have uh, some feeling that are vertebrates. And we're going to, on this, we're going to introduce Shaw that will talk about how big the blue whale. Great Shaw. Hi, I'm Shaw. Uh, I'm talking, I'm going to talk about um, how big the, the blue whale is. So, blue whale uh, length is um, 20 meters to 34 meters, so that means so 80 feet to 100 feet. And blue whale weight um, uh, 80 tons to 190 tons. Uh, these things uh, indicate uh, so how big uh, the blue whale is. Thank you, Joe. That is an interesting, interesting idea. Um, we know another fun fact that some specific characteristics that have the blue whale. They can eat um, the main food, that is krill. They can eat four times the krill every day. I mean, it's like ball krill. Um, they sometimes eat shard sardines. Um, they, they consider that the the blue whale heart is as big as a car. I mean, it's like this big. Um, we mean that other thing that is the ocean, that they reach all over the world. They have migration like birds, but they also change their mind. So depending on the season, depending that it's summer, winter, um, or, or other season, they will move to that migration. They will move to winter to the, into the Antarctic Pole and to the Arctic Pole, South or, or, or North Pole. And they also have some other point of migration. So let's introduce Cindy that is going to talk about the migration. I will talk about the challenges that the blue whale faced. As you know, the blue whale is the largest animal on the earth, so uh, they faced many challenges. One of the challenges is uh, shipping traffic. How shipping traffic uh, challenging the blue whale? Because of their big size, uh, they need a large space to move. But there are a lot of uh, ships in the ocean, 
so may uh, when they move may they uh, may hit a ship also the area that uh, attract blue whale is uh, strong upwelling that produce a large amount of a crab but unfortunately the uh, this area coincidentally uh, crossed by shipping lane at this time Cindy will talk about the threats <coughs> especially uh, with uh, the modernization which I will detail uh, uh, finally and uh, also the, the eruption of uh, the industrial uh, revolution. Uh, the blue whale uh, hunting is banned by uh, the International uh, Walling uh, Commission uh, and also it's uh, listed as endangered species uh, by the IUCN uh, red list of the endangered species. Uh, and also it's listed uh, from the uh, National Marine Fisheries Service as a uh, endangered species also. So I think all of that's uh, done to ensure uh, this protection under uh, the law. Uh, further efforts uh, include uh, monitoring the reproduction and the population by the satellite tags and uh, the shipboard observers. Uh, and I also I think uh, the wildlife uh, protection charities <coughs> such as uh, Save the Whale and uh, the Sea Shepherd uh, Conservation Society uh, play a promi prom prominent uh, role to conserve and uh, preserve this uh, nice uh, animal from uh, the extension and that's uh, happening by uh, helping uh, to fund uh, uh, further uh, conservation uh, and also uh, by uh, confronting the illegal activities with increasing uh, the activities that uh, allow them uh, to, uh, to allow uh, to the travelers uh, to see their uh, fascinating uh, species uh, at their natural uh, habitat. Uh, finally, I want to say that uh, the modernization necessitates uh, us to uh, increase uh, the awareness and the knowledge of the people toward uh, these uh, nice species. Uh, and I prefer the visual material because I think it's easy to get the message across the uh, people's brains and I 
should, uh, and I think uh, we should uh, be uh, far from the conventional methods such as uh, brochures and uh, booklets. Uh, finally, I want to say, hopefully, uh, we preserve uh, and uh, conserve these uh, spectacular speeches uh, from danger to coming centuries. Now I would uh, take the file to show to conclude our presentation. Thank you. And uh, in the end, uh, in this uh, presentation, uh, we talked with you about the description and the challenges and the threats and the conservation of the uh, blue whale. So I will turn to Jorge and uh, he will talk to our final work. Thank you, Chong. So we know that humans kill the blue whale. All the day, we know that SPDH is being higher and higher. So let's just stop that. Let's just stop what I'm talking about, right? And let's defend the blue whale on that way. Thank you.